over here at Midpoint know there's no better way to close out the week than with a few purposeful laughs, seeing as lawmakers and such often leave us with the unintentional kind. We also know there are no better targets for humor than those very hardworking people we call politicians and never leave us short of material. How about this from 1985? In an essay published in The New Republic, former Mayor Ed Koch of New York City wrote, Life is indeed precious, and I believe the death penalty helps affirm this fact. End quote. Way to go, Ed. Uh, let us then leave you with the weekly political punching bag and say... Rock on, True Believers. Have a great weekend. See you Monday back here on Midpoint. A lot's happening in politics, of course. Yesterday in Iowa, this is depressing, yesterday in Iowa, just four supporters, just four, showed up to eat lunch with Republican presidential candidate Rick Santorum. <laughs> just four, yeah. yeah. It's always a bad sign when your entire voter base can fit in a deli booth. <laughs> That's not good. I feel like every night now, we start with a joke about a presidential hopeful. That is the age we live in now. There are so many people who are hopeful to be president, and it's just so sad we're going to only end up with one of them. <laughs> presidential hopeful Rand Paul warned the media today that if anyone is mean to his wife during the campaign, they'll have to answer to him. <laughs> yeah. And Hillary Clinton said that if anyone is mean to Bill, that's totally fine. Jeez. <laughs> Do your worst. Uh, and it was just announced that Olympic figure skater Michelle Kwan is now a full-time paid staffer on Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. Yeah. While Tanya Harding was hired to take care of any other Democrats who <laughs> entered the race. I'm not sure. Meanwhile, Jeb Bush, he's campaigning as well. Jeb Bush is taking his presidential campaign on a tour of Europe. Yes. <laughs> He's touring Europe, that's right. He's telling Europeans, I like you guys because you're comfortable having the same family in charge for centuries. <laughs> that was, that was strange. So many presidential hopefuls these days. Presidential hopeful Ted Cruz said this week that if he's elected, if he's elected, he'll roll back President Obama's executive orders on immigration. Though I think I think if Ted Cruz is elected, he should look into whatever killed all the other candidates. <laughs> that's, that's very scary. And Senator Ted Cruz is in the news. Ten Senator Ted Cruz said if elected president, he would host a Cuban pig roast on the White House lawn. <laughs> yeah. Of course, that would be impossible because if Cruz were elected president, all the pigs would be flying. <laughs> This is just crazy. According to a new survey, Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter actually has a higher favorability rating than most GOP candidates. <laughs> In other words, he who must not be named is more popular than he whose name I forgot and what's her face. Uh, <laughs> Presidential hopeful Lindsey Graham, who is single, said today that if elected, he will have a rotating first lady. A rotating first lady. Even creepier, he said it on Tinder. Uh, and this is pretty big. I saw that Vladimir Putin traveled to Italy to meet with Pope Francis yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, they said he should be done with confession by sometime next fall. <laughs> okay, that takes care of all the people I poisoned. Uh, now, let's get to people I choked. Uh... Germany's a key ally. The relationship between Obama and Angela Merkel, critical. <laughs> And there is a picture of them talking. <laughs> now, we could put in the legwork and investigate and report on what they were actually talking about, or... This photo taken of German Chancellor Angela Merkel and President Obama that's getting all the buzz. The president and an expressive German Chancellor. An animated Merkel appearing ready to burst into song. She sort of has her arms out like this, sort of like, hey, what's going on here? You think he's saying there's something to her there? Like, come on, man. Really? This dollar thing, you gotta, you know, I get that euro moving. Here's what's happening. She's saying, I will rain hell down upon you! <laughs> and Obama's all, do I look scared? <laughs> and then she's all, I told you before, I wanted to sit on that bench! <laughs> and he's all like, should have gotten here earlier.